There are two deities that are often linked together, and that's uh, Buddha Kapala and Mahamaya. Now, they don't actually go together. They, they follow each other in the, in the Dege um, uh, Conjure, and uh, also they are found in different collections of meditation and initiation uh, practice uh, technical manuals. Also, we tend to link the two together because of Marpa Lotsawa, uh, Choki Lodro, uh, because these are two meditation practices that he brought back from India. And I believe there's also a relationship uh, with some of these practices to Kukuripa or, or, or people associated with Kukuripa, uh, then down to Marpa. From Marpa, then to uh, the, through the Ngok tradition of the Marpa Kagyu. So Buddha Kapala, he has uh, blue in color, one face, four arms. Now, just like Mahamaya, there can be different variations of the form of Buddha Kapala. Now, now the name itself, Buddha Kapala, means uh, the the cranium or the skull of the uh, of the Buddha of an enlightened one. So, so it's a little bit of a play on Hindu religion, uh, where we have some early narratives that have to do with uh, a very wrathful um, uh, yogis or gods who have acquired the skull of Brahma. So this is a bit of a play on, on the skull of Brahma, but here being the skull of the Buddha. Now, Buddha Kapala, this holder of the Buddha's skull, he, he has uh, four arms, and he's also holding a, a double-sided drum and a curved knife and a katvanga staff. Now, he can be solitary or he can be with a consort. Uh, and, and similar to Mahamaya, the consort can be either red or blue, depending on the tradition. And again, similar to Mahamaya, we have an issue with which leg, uh, uh, or in a dancing posture, which leg is uh, is Buddha Kapala standing on. So there are these these iconographic similarities that may have developed through just a lack of specificity, iconographic specificity, and it's possible that it was left to the artists to interpret exactly the appearance of these deities. So, so I don't really know. I've not studied the commentaries on these two deities, Mahamaya or Buddha Kapala. Now, for Buddha Kapala, we further have, uh, have uh, different mandala structures. We have uh, an eight deity configuration and we have a 25 deity configuration. So like Mahamaya, Buddha Kapala is also found in the, um, the collection of the Vajravali and I believe also in the collection of the Mitra Gyatsa. So, but again, similar to, to Mahamaya, Buddha Kapala is not really popular after the 15th, 16th century. And where we do see uh, Buddha Kapala in art, it's usually um, representing um, the full set of mandalas of the Vajravali or the Mitra Gyatsa. Uh, or again, it's representing the major meditational practices of uh, Marpa Chukilodro. So if you like this series of uh, videos, then you can press the like button. You can subscribe. You can also, uh, you can also join Har on Patreon and uh, there we, we will have longer videos and we have a little bit more editorial than we do on the main Har website.